to 24 Willie Mays Plaza, the home of the Giants and Oracle Park. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the San Francisco Giants. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. And today's starting pitcher, Logan Webb. How about a scouting report on him? Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind him. Okay, all set to go. Off, Here's Nico Horner. The, the second baseman, Nico Horner. The pitch. Close, but call the ball. Ball one. Well. Man, first pitch of the day, and the zone's already tight. Next offering is in for a strike. Slice the other way and foul. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Dansby Swanson stands in. And that one wrapped foul. One out, base is empty. Ball Breaking inside. ball inside. And a count even one and one. Come on, Giants. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Conforto makes the grab. And there's two down. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate Chris. Uh, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So you know you'll see at times I'm sure with two strikes what looks like a oh, half man. swing that can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent pop. The wind and the pitch. That's a strike. 0 oh and 2. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Fires to first on the run. They get the out, and that will do it. And the Cubs are down in order. Now it's the Giants' turn. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. here at Oracle Park and now here's the starter for the Cubs Justin Steele Chris what should we keep an eye on here with him well the hammer is in effect and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball he will elevate that time. and then break you the off when he's ahead in the count what I love about him you get into the later innings of the ball game and the velocity seems to go up Wilmer Flores leading things off and takes a strike He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. Next offering is downstairs. Ripped on the ground a second. One gone, bottom half of the first. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes That's in front ball. of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand.
That one finds the zone, and it's a ball to strike. And ball downstairs. Two. We got two balls, one strike. Two one now. Fly ball down the line. And That's that is a foul ball. Next Can't offering play. down in the dirt. It's a laser base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. One gone runner at first. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Ball one, no and a pitch right. out, but nothing going on. Steal a former All-Star, 28 years old. And he was a fifth round pick back in 2014. Left hand hitter waits. Wouldn't Good chase ball. that no time. Play. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Now snap throw to first. No, Estrada safe. back on a dive. Nope. Just missed. Hey. Top of the zone for a called strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. And it's off the wall. Around third. He will score, and the Giants take the lead. one nothing. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That pitch clips the outside corner. 0-1. Yastrzemski leads off second with one gone in the inning. The 0 2. And that one is inside. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. He was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Here's a one-two. Stays alive. One out and a runner at second. The pitch. Now, he didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, they should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the no dugout idea. because even though no, he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count off as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. It's 3-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off.
with a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Two outs, nobody on. Now it's Matt Chapman. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. Chapman, a multi-gold glove award winner, 30 years old now. He joined the team as a free agent. Two out spaces empty. Now fly ball to right center. Suzuki makes the catch, and that'll do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning, Leading set to go. Ball. Bellinger up the to hit. Fielder, number 24. Well, after Cody scoring runs, this is where you're looking Bellinger. for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The right-hander back to work. And it's fouled away. Bellinger's won a variety of awards in his career, hasn't he? I mean, he's been named Rookie of the Year, MVP, and Comeback Player of the Year now. Oh, Throwing out. a few Silver Slugger awards, and he has himself quite the trophy cabinet. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most players are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. But why to kick the pitch? And another ball. And now it's filled up. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off-speed. Gets the out. The right fielder. Say, uh, Suzuki. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Ball one there. Next pitch is outside. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Batting six. The designated hitter, Christopher Morell. Two outs, space is empty. Next to hit, Christopher Morell. And that's down it away. Aye. That's a slider for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Here's Jan Gomes. And there he goes. Pitch is high. And safe. It's a stolen base. Well, with a good arm behind the dish, it's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. Jan Gomes waits. Just missed. No one out.
Oh, Misses outside, a... and now 3 0. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. And that drops in for a strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Up the middle. Fires over to first. And that is the inning. So one hit is all they get. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Giants three and the Cubs nothing. And we're back. Leading Here's the left the fielder, Giants. Austin Slater. No left fielder. Austin. Slater. Here comes a pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Hard on the ground to first. Bush steps on the bag. Leadoff man retired here in the second. The catcher, Patrick Bailey. Here's the catcher, Patrick Bailey. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing. The ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And a good eye there. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. That's a strike, and it's two and one. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Got him looking for the K. Now Marco Luciano. First pitch misses. And now the lefty. Ground ball left side. Whips it across. Giants go in order. Giants are down one, two, three, but they lead it three nothing. Back here in San Francisco, all set for the start of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Michael Bush. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. There's a strike. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. And the righty deals. Hot shot to third. Chapman oh. over to first in time. One up, one down. Batting done. The third baseman, number one, Nick. Here's Madrigal. Nick Madrigal. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. And the 0-2. Bounce to the right. Steps on first for the out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Nico Horner. Inside corner at the knees for a strike. The Cubbies trailing by three. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one, one missed. One right. 
late with the swing there. Belly just threw that fastball One by ball. him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. That one ripped. Way back there. And that one's gone into the bleachers. A gigantic blast. And they cut into the deficit. It's 3-1. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. At Singy, it tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Ahead of two in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. The One shortstop ball. takes the ball. Good eye in that spot. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Two outs. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And he deals. Hard hit, left side. Jump throw. And that oh. is the inning. Cubby's edge closer on this long ball. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's Wilmer Flores. The first baseman, Wilmer. Steele back to work. Right through there for a strike. Well, these Giants doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly 100% of their swings. Out towards right center field. Suzuki on the move. One down. Up next to the Giants. Tyro Estrada to the plate. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. In there for strike one. And there's a ball. One and one. That That's misses, and it's two and one. Foul ball. Kicks and deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And here it comes. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. 
outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Yastrzemski in now takes ball one off the plate. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. The 1 0. Fought off foul. Mike Yastrzemski, originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giant runner on the move. The 1 1 is fouled off. Man at first, one away. Foul ball still, a one and two count. In the air to left, down the line. Pat sizing this one up. They got it for out number two. Now that the designated hitter, Jorge Soler. Here's a cleanup hitter for the Giants, Jorge Soler. Went down on strikes his first time through. Rudder takes off. Pitch is high. Gomes. Too late for the throw. Safe. No, he had that base stolen as soon as he broke for second. Such a huge lead. The pitcher's got to find a way to help out his catcher, especially if he doesn't have a great throwing arm. Step off the rubber, shrink that lead somehow, create a little bit more time where maybe you can prevent that stolen base. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Oh, Falling insane. behind two and one. Estrada at second with two down. Next pitch is outside. Michael Conforto would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. The 3-1. That one fouled off. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Man at second. That one the other way. Corner. Over to first. And that will end the inning. So the Giants leave one as the lead remains 3-1. Out of the fourth. Ian Happ up to hit. The left fielder. Ian Happ. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Conforto going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Bounce to third. Chapman fires across the diamond. Bellinger is gone two away. Now batting right fielder. Say uh, Suzuki. Two outs, space is empty. And next for the Cubs, say a Suzuki. Grounded out his first time up. Suzuki goes five feet 11 inches 180 pounds and he was born in Japan slapped hard the other way but foul he's begging give me that pitch one more time a hanging change up just out in front swing and a miss and he struck him out and good work there as he gets a one two three Cubs are down quietly and it remains a three one ball game.
back here with my Leading pal Singy. Michael nine. Conforto will climb in. The right fielder, Michael Conforto. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The lefty fires. And a pop up right side foul territory. Gomes drifts towards it. Squeezes it. And there's one down. That hanging breaking ball looks so the juicy batter. to the hitter. The and nothing more frustrating Matt. when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. And here is Matt Chapman. He's over one. There's a strike at the knees. Going one. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Suzuki ranging back, feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield, got to the spot, turned around and made a nice catch. Slater in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. It's through for a hit, and that extends the inning. Everything came together for him. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now Patrick Bailey That's a ball. just missed. Pitches downstairs. Slater off of first with two away. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Step off throw to first. Slater dives back in safely. Two outs. In the air right field. And that's a fair ball. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now that is good stop. Marco. Lucy Hotto. So they're at the corners now. Stepping in, Marco Luciano. He's 0 for 1. And one the first out. offering is not close. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Right through there for a strike. A one-two count, all he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. At the belt and fires. The shortstop takes a ball. Runners on first and third, two away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That Three misses ball. the zone. Two Three and two now. Wilmer Flores waiting for a turn at the plate. That one back up the middle and it gets through. 
Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's 4-1. Picks himself up in RBI. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Wilmer Flores, the next giant to hit. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Bush under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the DH, Christopher Morell. Christopher Morell. And the right hander back to work. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Holds it in on the warning track. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Now it's Jan Gomes. Grounded out his first time. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Right through there for a strike. The Giants leading by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. And the pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 and 2. And a pitch. High fly ball out into left center field. Yastrzemski pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now batting the first baseman, Michael Bush. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Chicago, Michael Bush. First time up, he grounded to third. Strike one. All one to count. Next pitch is outside. Wouldn't nope. chase that time. Up the middle, Estrada. On to first, and that is that. Offense held a check there. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Giants four and the Cubs one. Back here at Oracle Park, John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada. Deal back to work. And for a strike, it's 0 1. Activity in the bullpen. Number 43 getting loose out there. Lighter, the right hander, loosening up as well. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. A sliding stop. The throw. And he'll be safe at first. Number five. 
Here comes Craig Council, and we're going to see a pitching change. Justin Steele is done. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Drew Smiley. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. One for two. Step off, throw to first, and he dives back in safely. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The 0-1. Foul ball there. Left hand batter waits. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Just a hammer 12 6 curveball right there, Boo. That was exactly what he wanted to do with it. Not a ton of pitchers can throw a true 12 6 break, but he does. And you can't throw it any better than he did right there. Jorge Soler, the next giant to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Estrada over at first with one away. To first, and he breaks for second. To second, and he's out. Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball two. That clips the corner. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Flails at that one. It's a strikeout. Top six. So up now for Chicago. Nick Madrigal. Nick Madrigal. The pitch. Yeah, that's, that's outside. Down. Ball one. You know, these Cubs need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. And another ball. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one's in there. Three and one. Fouled off left side. Right-hander kicks, deals. Up the middle, Estrada. Tosses to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. The batter number two, second base, Nico Horner. Here's the Cubs' leadoff man, Nico Horner. He's already homered in this game. There's a strike.
Misses outside, and the count is one and one. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty to the plate. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Now batting. Shortstop. Dan and now the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. First Ooh, offering and it just misses. And you played behind guys and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Next offering is in for a strike. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle. You can lose your mechanics. But the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented. Pulls it down to third, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Giants four, and the Cubs one. Well, we go bottom six, and now the right fielder, Michael Conforto. Leading up for the Giants, the right fielder, Michael. And a pitch. Conforto. And a foul ball. This one pops straight up near the plate. Gomes puts it away, and there's one away. Up next to the Giants. The third baseman, Matt Chapman. Here's Matt Chapman. Let's go, Giants! He caught it behind his back. Gathers and throws. Nicely done for the out. Now batting, left fielder, Austin Slater. Two outs, space is empty. Now the left fielder, Austin Slater. And that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Right side. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the inning. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. The pitch. Oh. And ball one. Signs of movement in the Giants bullpen. Tyler Rogers appears to be getting loose. Rogers, a lefty, warming up as well. And the 1 0. -oh. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Headed towards the corner, and that one gets down. Fair ball. The center fielder, number 24. Here's Cody Bellinger. Bellinger. The oh, one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two.
The Giants leading by three here in the top half of inning number seven. Three. Struck him out looking. Seiya Suzuki, the next cup to hit. Popped up. Estrada under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Next is the designated hitter, Christopher Morell. Come on, guys. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. There's a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. And the right hander deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That one just misses. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire, and out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. Two outs. And another ball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Jan Gomes waiting to hit for the Cubs. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Sets him down looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. One left for the Cubs, and they trail it 4-1. And we're back. And now the switch hitting catcher, Patrick Bailey. Patrick. The wind and the pitch. Just missed. Smiley, a 6 2 southpaw. He throws a curveball, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's down and away. Pitch misses, and now three and one. Come on and miss. Struck him out. Now one away. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Yeah, just needs to let the ball Good travel ball. a little more, and his timing oh, will be no. back on track. Good pitch Good for the strikeout. And up next for San Francisco, Marco Luciano. Come on, Sliced hard, but foul. One down, base is empty. Good Whoa, eye right there. there. Yeah, good eye. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. Here comes a pitch. He's got it, and there's two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. Wilmer Flores, the next Giant to hit. Let's go, Giants. Let's go, Giants. 
Wouldn't oh, chase that time. That one inside. Ball two. The pitch. Now three and oh. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom of the seven. And there's the automatic. The why to kick the pitch. That one finds the zone. Three balls, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. The other way. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. Giants down in order, but they lead it four to one. Now here's Tyler Rogers out of the pen. Now pitching for the Giants. Number 71. Tyler. Rogers. Now the Cubs catcher, Jan Gomes. Moving off for the Cubs. The catcher, Jan Gomes. The pitch. Slap the other way, foul. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth. That closer's coming in. Well, that's off the plate. Slider misses outside. Hey. There's a swing and a miss. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. The one-two fights it off. You'll see another. And he deals. And that's outside. And the count is even two and two. On the ground, Chapman tosses across the first. They go 5 3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop spot in the ship. Michael Bush digs in now. First pitch and he just misses. And that's outside. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Tap to first, Flores takes it himself. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now batting, third baseman, Nick Madrigal. Two outs, base is empty. Nick Madrigal, the next Cub to hit. Wouldn't chase that time. Count one and oh. Two down, nobody on. That's the third. Slings it across, and the Cubs go one, two, three. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Smiley back to work. Bounce to the right side. Corner. Tosses to first. 
And a quick out number one. The center fielder, number five, Mike. Yes. And up next Let's for the Giants, see. Mike Yastrzemski, one for three. Let's go, Giants! Fastball for a strike, 0 and one. And that's in the dirt. And here it comes. That's the third. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now the Giants four hitter, Jorge Soler. That one's in there on one. Yastrzemski at first one gone. In the air to left center. Bellinger makes the grab and there's two gone. The right fielder, number eight, Michael Conforto. Man at first, the batter will be Michael Conforto. He's already homered here in this one. Ground ball base now. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now, now Matt Chapman at the plate. Matt. 0 for 3 with two fly outs Matt. and a ground out. First pitch misses. Two on, two outs. Hard ground ball, base down. Coming home. The throw in. He's safe. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. First and second, two down. Austin Slater stands in. Line drive. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. Last chance coming up for the Cubbies. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Luke Jackson. Ladies and he's and got a nice lead to work with, please. so he should come in now throwing strikes, the attacking these hitters. Number 77, Luke. And next for the Cubs, Nico Horner. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? The pitch. Clips the corner. And it's 0-1. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. A right-hander appears to be getting loose. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. Out to short. Sends it to Flores, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. And up next for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. Wait. 
And first offering is fouled off. The Giants leading by four here at the top of the ninth. Late that time, and it's strike two. Okay. I think he was sitting off speed there. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. On the ground at first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.